Hi folks, uh, this Algebra 2 lesson is on solving radical equations, so we're going to go ahead and get uh, begin you guys. So solve and then check your solutions. Most of these will just be kind of uh, uh, verbally checking the solutions and we'll start checking them uh, algebraically towards the end. Alright, so solve the cube root of x plus 3 equals 3. Okay, to get rid of the cube root, you just cube both sides. You raise both sides to the third power. So then I have x plus 3 equals 27. 3 to the third is 27, so subtract 3, you get 24. All right, if you, and if you just uh, mentally check, 24 plus 3 is 27, and the cube root of 27 equals 3. Okay, easy enough. How about this guy? Okay, here I have the cube root of x minus 9 equals negative 1. All right, so here i got to get rid of that minus 9 because it's not inside the cube root. So I'm going to add 9 to both sides. And then um, uh, now I have the cube root of x equals 8. And then now I'm going to raise both sides to the third power. 8 to the third is 512. All right, if you plug in 512 right up here, the cube root of 512 is 8. 8 minus 9 does equal negative 1 right there. So we checked it out right there. Okay, here, 4x to the 3 halves power equals 108. Only the x is being raised to the 3 halves, not the 4. So I'm going to get rid of the 4 by dividing both sides by 4. When I do that, I get a nice perfect cubed. I have x to the 3 halves power equals 27. And to get rid of the, that exponent, I raise both sides to the reciprocal of that exponent. Because remember, powers raised to powers, you multiply. So I get 2 thirds, uh, x, um, uh, 27 to the 2 thirds over there equals x. And then 2 thirds, remember this bottom number is your index number to your radical. So this becomes the cube root of 27 squared. The cube root of 27 is 3. 3 squared is 9. All right. Okay, here, I'm gonna, you guys probably already know, going to get rid of that 1 first. And then um, uh, I have uh, that quantity to the 3 fourths power. So I'm going to raise both sides to the reciprocal, 4 thirds. And then again, that's going to be the cube root of 27, except this time it's to the fourth, x plus 2. So 3 to the fourth is 81. And then subtract uh, 2 from both sides, and you get 79. Okay, all right, here... Uh, before I square anything, I need to isolate this radical. So this plus 3 on the outside, I'm going to subtract it and put it on the other side. So it's going to be x minus 3 over there. All right, now I'm going to square both sides. Okay, now when I have a binomial and I'm squaring it, i got to foil it out, x minus 3 times x minus 3. Over here, this just makes the radical disappear, so it just equals x minus 3. Okay, can you see where if I foiled out x squared, uh, uh, x minus 3 times x minus 3, I get this right here? All right, and then uh, now I have a quadratic equation. I'm going to set it equal to 0, so I'm going to subtract x from 6x. It's going to be a minus 7x. I'm going to add 3 to 9. That's going to get me a 12, so I get x squared minus 7x plus 12 equals 0. And then go ahead and factor that, and you get x equals 4 or 3. And then up above, I'm going to check both of those, you guys. So here's 4, and I checked 4 out. So I put in 4 right there and 4 right there, and I get 4 equals, does it equal, square root of 4 minus 3 plus, uh, plus the 3 on the outside. 4 minus 3 is 1. Square root of 1 is 1. Yeah, that checks out. Find out 3 checks out also, so the answer is uh, 4 and 3, 4 or 3. All right, okay, this one gets a little bit uh, more involved because there's two radicals, you guys. Typically, when there's two radicals and you got something else without a radical, you're going to end up squaring it twice. All right, since this uh, radical is all by itself already, I'm going to go ahead and square both sides. And when I square the right-hand side, it's kind of like a binomial, so I'm going to write it twice and then foil out this dude with this dude right here. Okay, over here, when I square this radical, it just makes that uh, uh, the radical disappear. All right, so when I do uh, first times first, I get uh, 1 times 1. Outer times outer, I get a 1 times the radical. Inner times inner, I get another 1 times the radical, so I have 2 times the radicals. Finally, last times last makes the radical disappear because they're the same right there, so there's my 2x minus 2. Okay, now I'm going to combine like terms with this 1 right here and this minus 12 to get me a minus 11. Just clean it up just a little bit. All right, now, before I square it again, i got to get this radical all by itself. So now I'm going to subtract 2x from x and make it negative 1x and add 11 to 1 and make it a 12. So um, uh, there it is, negative x plus 12 equals the radical. I think I'm going to go ahead and square it now, you guys. When I square it, um, uh, yeah, okay, I just I shrunk it up a little bit. And I'm going to square this side, and it's like foiling it out again over there. So when I foil it out, I get that. I got to square this 2. 2 squared is 4. When I square this radical, it makes the radical disappear, but it's now 4 times that. So I'm going to distribute the 4 through and get that. 
Now I have a quadratic equation. I'm going to subtract 8x from 24x, and that's going to get me what? A negative uh, 32x. I'm going to add 48 to 144, and uh, I get uh, 192. And it took me a while to play around with that, but factors of 192 were 24 times 8, so x minus 24, x minus 8. Okay, so now I'm going to check those, you guys. So here they are checked out right here, and I checked 24. 24 didn't check out, only 8 checked out. 24 is called an extraneous solution. Uh, only 8 checks out. Okay, you don't need to worry about the, the name extraneous, at least for now you don't. Okay, so the answer is only 8 on that one. All right, and if you're in my Algebra 2 class, I want you to do pages 456 to 459, 3 to 51. This means every other odd. So you're going to do 3, skip 5, do 7, okay, and every other odd, okay? Uh, all, I think it gets you up to 51. And then, uh, and then do 63 through 79 odds also.